I was wondering if you could shine a light on uh, what it was like for you all when you realized 2021 wasn't going to happen, and then what it was like the moment you realized 2020 might actually happen. It was a relief when when 2021 the word came out because we knew it a while before it was official, and. The, uh, above it all, like we all decided early on, if we can't do it safely and know that it can happen, we don't want to do it. So, um, and a quick, quick shout out to everyone for being so great with the masking indoors. Like, yeah, being in that elevator and knowing everybody's just wearing their mask over their nose and mouth is yeah. great. And thank, thank you, thank you all for just rolling with everything over the over the course of the last two years. I know it's been hard to. I mean, as we have struggled with not knowing what's going to happen, it's very hard to run an event and communicate in a clear way to everybody when you yourself don't know exactly how things are going to be. So I really appreciate everyone's patience, and it's why we're so grateful that you're all here. Especially like, during January, where we're like, we just need to wait and see what happens <laughs> in the next month. And Brian, believe us, it was as frustrating for us as it, we were sure it was for all of you, but... It worked out. Yeah. And Holland America has been an amazing, amazing partner through this and seeing how they came to grips with it early on. Uh, it was difficult, uh, but more than, and we've seen it from the inside uh, every week and constantly and still, that they know that they have to nail it. Um, and if they don't, more than any, literally any other industry in the world, that if they don't get it right, then they're gone. And they took that to heart. And um, I think that, that it showed. So thank you to them as well.